The great film directors place priority on the frame over the script, often to the point of excising the script from their process altogether. I take Terence Malick, Pedro Costa, and Jean-Luc Godard as my examples here. In his later years, when his voice was at its most authentic, Malick worked without scripts. He created situations, gave actors pages of philosophical ramblings, and allowed them to draw from that what they wished. And yet his visual language at this point was so pure and essential. The gliding camera, the whispered voiceover, and the golden hour, all hallmarks of a style that is unmistakably Malick. Pedro Costa, as he worked with the non-actors and residents of the ghetto neighbourhood of Fontenhouse, started to allow them to speak their own dialogue, and he would forge scenes around the dialogue that they spoke. And yet the chiaroscuro lighting and exacting, ascetic mise-en-scene of the Fontanes films were a part of a crystallisation of the soul of their director. Finally, Jean-Luc Godard often disregarded scripts and simply gave his actors earpieces through which he would feed them lines. The uncanny, Brechtian effect that this created is in keeping with his signature style. These filmmakers didn't always make great films when they did this, but they did always speak with an authentic, visual grammar that was uniquely their own. When they failed, and the failure to success ratio of these filmmakers was high, they failed on their own terms. And when they succeeded, as in The Tree of Life, Pierre Alafaux, or Vitalina Varela, they created masterpieces that were not simply masterpieces by the standards of the society they came from, but by the standards of the soul that they came from.